Life in this world can be difficult. We face battles within and without. Navigating life's journey in this world is often challenging, with battles arising both within us and in our external circumstances. Amidst these struggles, the most powerful resources God has entrusted to us is prayer. Prayer is not just a ritual. It is the lifeline of our spiritual existence, the intimate communion we share with God. It forms a bedrock of our relationship with Him, a sacred space where our hearts align with His kingdom purpose. To grow in strength and kingdom grit, our commitment to prayer must deepen. More prayer equals more power. So dear friend, if you're wanting more spiritual power into your life, if you're wanting more of the grace of God to come into your life, you get this through more prayer. This prayer is designed to serve as a potent instrument for you. As you listen and align your heart with its words, let it act as a protective shield against the spiritual battles you face daily. Let it fortify your faith in Christ Jesus as you earnestly seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, dear friend, to continually nourish your kingdom purpose, remember to subscribe and activate the bell notification. This way, you'll stay up to date with future resources that can assist you on your path of seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now let's come together in agreement in prayer. Heavenly Father, we approach your throne of grace, seeking renewal and restoration in Christ Jesus. We acknowledge our deep need for your grace and mercy, a need that is constant. Every moment of every day, you are our King, our Lord, and we wholeheartedly yield every aspect of our being to your kingdom authority rule. With a heart surrendered, I bring my life before you, my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, I submit my spirit soul and body, my thoughts, emotions, and will. I cover myself in the precious blood of Jesus, securing my spirit, soul, and body, my heart, mind, and will, and your protective care. Holy Spirit, I invite your presence to guide this time of prayer. Lead me in the path of righteousness and align my heart with yours. In this sacred moment, I unite my prayers with those of fellow believers who are praying with me, standing in harmony with your spirit. Let this time of prayer be a testament to my commitment to seek first your kingdom and live according to your kingdom purpose for the glory of your name. Heavenly Father, I come before you in gratitude, recognizing the abundance of good gifts that you have graciously bestowed upon me. I recognize that every perfect gift is from you, the unchanging Father of lights. Lord, today, I seek your help in discerning and capturing every thought that contradicts your truth, taking every thought captive to obey Christ. Guide my mind to focus on what is true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, morally excellent, and praiseworthy. Transform my life. Through the renewing of my mind, open my spiritual eyes and ears that I may discern and embrace your good, pleasing, and perfect will. I confess my sins before you, seeking your forgiveness and cleansing from all unrighteousness. Grant me repentance, leading to a deeper knowledge of your truth. Help me to flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace alongside those who call upon your name with pure hearts thank you for the assurance of no condemnation for those who are positioned in christ jesus teach me teach me not to worry about tomorrow trusting that each day has enough trouble of its own convict me when i speak out of turn 
and instill in me a desire to use my words for encouragement in building others up in you and not tearing them down. In all things, I commit not to worry about anything, but in everything. Through prayer and petition, I lift up my request with you, to you, with thanksgiving. Help me to love others deeply and to honor them in the way that I treat them. I'm casting all my cares on you, Lord, because I know that you care for me. I commit myself to seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I proclaim my position in Christ, living under the kingdom authority rule of Jesus, which frees me from the authority of sin and death. Lord, let your kingdom come, your will be done on earth and in my life as it is in heaven. Grant me the wisdom to respond to trials and life circumstances with your kingdom perspective and integrity. I rejoice in being a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old is gone, the new has come. Thank you for raising me up with Christ and seating me with him in the heavenly realms. I pray for your kingdom rule and authority over my family, my life, my thoughts, seeking to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. I declare that Christ lives in me and I am joined with Jesus. I am one in spirit with him, united in him, made right, pure, holy, and freed from the authority of sin. I believe in Jesus and I bring my life under his kingdom authority rule praying for his life-giving water to flow to me and through me this day. Stir in my heart, Lord, a desire to know and live out your will and kingdom purpose for my life. I trust all the circumstances of this day to you, Lord, for nothing can separate me from your love that is found in Christ Jesus. Lord, as I speak and serve my kingdom purpose in my generation, let it be with your words and strength that you may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to you be the glory and the power forever and ever. Heavenly Father, in humble submission, I present my body to Jesus Christ as a living sacrifice, dedicating each member of my body to him as instruments of righteousness. I acknowledge that my body has been purchased by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, and thus it belongs to him. In repentance, I renounce every way that I have misused and abused my body. I bring those acts under the redemptive power of the atoning blood of Jesus Christ, seeking cleansing and restoration. I consecrate my body and all its parts to the loving rule of Jesus Christ, dedicating myself fully to his service and glory. I ask for the blood of Christ to cleanse my body, to sanctify it, and to make it holy once more, reflecting the sanctification process described in Hebrews 10 and verse 10, where we are made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. Holy Spirit, I invite you to come and fill your temple now. I pray for restoration and healing under the complete authority and dominion of Christ Jesus. May my body be a vessel of honor fit for the master's use and prepared for every good work. In this act of dedication and consecration, I commit to honoring God with my body, recognizing it as a temple of the Holy Spirit and living in a way that reflects His holiness and purity. Lord, let my life be a testament to the transformative power of Your love and grace in the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and now bring the fullness of his work on the cross his death his shed blood and his sacrifice alongside his triumphant resurrection life and the victory of his empty tomb I also bring his authority rule and dominion as a declaration over every opposing power black art and curse that's coming against me and my family. I claim the victory of Jesus Christ over every curse directed against me and my loved ones. I stand against all curses of death, curses impacting my family, our health, our kingdom purpose, 
our proclamation of the gospel and any curses attempting to hinder me and my family from living out my kingdom purpose and our kingdom purpose in our generation. I declare the powerful blood of Jesus' sacrifice, the Son of God shed upon the cross against every claim of blood sacrifices and rituals. I assert the sacrifice of Jesus Christ for us against all ritualistic claims and dedication. In Jesus' mighty name and by his precious blood, I break the power and hold of every curse coming against us, whether through rituals, transferred by another person, spoken words, or occult practices. I declare every legal right and ground of the enemy nullified, disarmed, and destroyed. Satan has no hold over us through curses, occult practices, sacrifices, or rituals of any kind. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, we proclaim our freedom. So I command all demonic spirits that have gained access through curses and rituals to be cut off and banished from us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I ask you to mightily dispatch your angels to disarm all curses and black arts directed against us. Disarm their devices and render them powerless. Let these angels remove all foul spirits involved and bind them for your judgment. So I claim every spiritual blessing that our Heavenly Father has bestowed upon us in Christ Jesus. I declare these blessings over every area where curses were intended, standing firm in the authority and power of the Lord Jesus Christ. May these things be fully realized now through your mighty name, Jesus. I give you thanks, honor, and praise, Lord Jesus, for your victory and protection. All this I pray confidently and boldly, in the mighty authoritative name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came in the flesh. Heavenly Father, holy and triumphant Trinity, you alone are due every aspect of my worship, the fullness of my heart's devotion, all my praise, my complete trust, and the entirety of my life's glory. My love for you is absolute. I worship you with all that I am. I wholeheartedly surrender to you, seeking life in its truest form. For you alone are life, and you have graciously become my life. I renounce any idol and false gods, dedicating to you the preeminent place in my heart and in my life, as you so rightfully deserve. My life is about you, O God, not me. You are the central figure of this narrative, and I am yours. I humbly seek your forgiveness for my sins, consciously turning away from them. I invite you, Lord, to search me, know me, reveal my hidden sins, and show me where you are at work in my life. I pray for the grace to experience your healing, deliverance, and sanctification and to embrace a deep and genuine repentance from my sins. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your immeasurable love and for choosing me even before the creation of the world. You are my true Father, my Creator, Redeemer, Sustainer, and the ultimate purpose of all things, including my earthly life. I love you, I trust you, and I worship you with everything that I am. I yield myself to you, Father, desiring to be one with you in all things, just as Jesus is one with you. I am deeply grateful for your demonstration of love in sending Jesus. I submit my life under his authoritative rule and embrace all the work that you have ordained for me through him according to my kingdom purpose. Thank you, Lord, for including me in Christ, for forgiving me my sins, for clothing me in his righteousness, and for completing me in him. I am grateful for being made alive with Christ, for being raised with him, and for the privilege of being seated with him at your right hand, established in his authority. I acknowledge and receive with gratitude your anointing of love, your spirit, and your kingdom authority rule over my life. I accept this gift wholeheartedly and allow it to take full claim over my spirit, soul, and body, my heart, mind, and will. Heavenly Father, 
In the powerful and mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bring forth the entirety of his life and work, the profound sacrifice of his blood, and the transformative power of his resurrection. I ask for his supreme authority, rule, and dominion over every aspect of my being, my heart, my mind, and my soul. I ask for this covering to extend over my family, permeating our home and every aspect of our kingdom purpose as a family. I declare Jesus' lordship over all that I have and with and everything entrusted to my stewardship by your kingdom providence. This encompasses not just physical and material possessions, but also the responsibilities, relationships, and opportunities you, O oh God, have graciously placed in my care. In doing so, I acknowledge and submit to the overreaching sovereignty of Christ Jesus in every area of my life. I recognize his authority as foundational and central to the functioning and flourishing of my family, our home, our work, and the stewardship you have assigned to us. So I pray that through the power of Jesus' blood and resurrection, every aspect of my life will be aligned with your kingdom purpose. May his authority rule bring transformation, peace, and righteousness in all these areas, guiding us in your ways and protecting us from any evil influence. Lord, let your kingdom come. Your will be done in all these areas of my life as it is in heaven. May the life and authority of Christ Jesus reign supreme, bringing glory to your name and manifesting your kingdom here on earth in my life and in all that you have entrusted to me. Lord Jesus, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and reverence. Thank you for your sacrifice, for ransoming me with your very life. I love you, I worship you, and I wholeheartedly surrender myself to you, desiring to be united with you in every aspect, spirit, soul, and body, heart, mind, and will. I gratefully receive the fullness of the work and victory accomplished through your cross, death, blood, and sacrifice. Through these, my every sin has been atoned for. I am ransomed from the kingdom of darkness and transferred into your marvelous light, into your kingdom. My sin nature is crucified. My heart is circumcised unto God and every claim against me is disarmed this day. I now position myself in your cross and death, dying with you to sin, to my flesh, to the ways of this world, and to the domain of the evil one. I embrace the cross, crucifying my flesh with all its pride, arrogance, unbelief, idolatry, vanity, lust, discouragement, disillusionment, distractions, and negative thoughts and feelings. I decisively put off the old man and apply to myself all the transformative work of your cross, death, blood, and sacrifice. I receive it with thanks, allowing it full claim over my spirit, soul, and body, my heart, mind, and will. I bring the power of your cross, death, blood, and sacrifice against Satan, his kingdom, every foul and unclean spirit, every dark power and black art against all forms of witchcraft and against every pathogen, virus, and negative influence. I extend the reach of your cross, death, blood, and sacrifice to the very borders of my domain and staking your victory there in your mighty name, Jesus. I also wholeheartedly receive you as my life. I embrace the triumph of your resurrection through which you have conquered sin death, judgment, and the evil one. Death holds no power over you, and consequently, no power over those who are positioned in you. I've been raised with you to a new life, to live your life, dead to sin and alive to God. I claim my place in your resurrection and in your life, embracing your authority and rule. My life is given to you to live out your life through me. I'm saved by your life. I reign in life through your life. I receive your hope, love, faith, joy, goodness, truth, wisdom, power, 
and strength. Apply to me and to my loved ones all the work and triumph in your resurrection. I receive it with thanks, giving a total claim over our spirits, our souls, and our bodies, our hearts, our minds, and our wills. Almighty God, we humbly surrender our hearts to be filled with your truth and transformative power of the Holy Spirit. Help us to fully grasp and cherish your eternal love, your kingdom protection, and the gift of salvation. Standing firm on your promises, we walk confidently on your path of freedom. We are deeply grateful for you break every chain and illuminate the darkest corners of our lives. We thank you, Lord, for your attentive ear and your faithful response to our prayers in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Dear friends, if this prayer has touched your heart, I encourage you to affirm with an amen in the comment section below. May the blessings in this prayer encompass you in Jesus' name. By sharing this video with your friends and family, you can extend its reach, bringing this prayer's blessings to others in need. By liking the video, you contribute to spreading its message of faith and hope. So I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more videos that will enrich your heart and help you as you seek first the kingdom of God. Please feel free to share your prayer requests in the comments so I can bring them before God in prayer. To God be the glory. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each of you now and always in his mighty name. Amen.